Just to take an Uber or Lyft to this one because you're gonna be trying to drive home as fast as Christian Bale drives in this film. <laughs> What's going on everyone? Welcome to a brand new movie review. Today I'm going to be discussing the closing night film for the Scottsdale International Film Festival and that is Ford vs. Ferrari. I've been looking forward to this one. The trailer didn't particularly lock me into this but since James Mangold coming to direct this film, he's a very awesome director. One that not a lot of people talk about. The guy who made Logan, one of my favorite films of that year. You also look at 310 to Yuma and even Walk the Lion. Fantastic films all across the board. But comes about some of the best directors that are working today. We never mentioned James Mangold, and I do think that he should be in that consideration. He's one of the best directors working today, and I think Ford v Ferrari might be proving that. But also, this film stars Christian Bale and Matt Damon as two guys, Carol Shelby and Ken Miles, who battle a corporate interference, the laws of physics, and their own personal demons to build a revolutionary race car for Ford and challenge Ferrari at the 24 Hours of Lee Mans in nine. 1966. They are truly taking their American dream for a ride. And of course, if you guys are new here, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button where I do tons of early movie reviews like this on a daily basis, talk tons of geeky content, and I want to discuss it with you guys. So make sure to comment down below. Let me know what your guys' thoughts are. Are you guys excited for this? Are you not? Let's discuss it down there. But guys, again, Ford v Ferrari, what are you going to say about this movie? If you can't tell, I had a blast with this one. Now, when I walked out, I'd heard some criticisms, especially before this film, that kind of did temper my excitement for the movie. And a lot of that came down to the shallowness of the film, none of the character depth that it could have gone into. And if we're going to start with those cons, I, I can't agree with that. I do think our main characters, while you get the main purpose of what they're doing, there's not much more to them than very much surface level material of understanding who they are. And I do think there was potential to dive into their characters and their lives and in general some of the tidbits and emotional physical demons that they are all dealing with throughout this movie. And since the movie doesn't deal with that, I, if I were to look at something, it would be that as a con, but I didn't look at that was the purpose of this movie. The purpose is to tell the story of these two guys, but not about their personal life to tell about the story of this race and what they did to build this car is the purpose of this movie and that is the story that James Mangold decided to center the story in on and if you're looking at it from that perspective I think that's the way that this film works it became one of the most energetic while also exciting films that at, by while I was watching it I felt like I was truly watching a race and that I was actually in the driver's seat of the whole entire movie and for a two hour and 30 minute runtime this movie flew by we don't see Hollywood making films like this anymore yeah we see him making big blockbusters budget of this movie being so as high as it was it's quite surprising and i wish hollywood would take more risks on these films and trust the filmmakers this is definitely gonna be a crowd pleaser and i think that's gonna be something a lot of people are walking out of some people will even say jumping up oh yay right you want to jump around and clap along as the film's going on which is true i did get that urge that i wanted to cheer and clap as stuff was going on but that's something that i don't like to necessarily say but it is true, and I felt that emotion. That is what this film made me feel. A lot of that kind of goes just because of the chemistry between Matt Damon and Christian Bale, which sings swan songs around everyone else. They are phenomenal, and this is actually one of the best performances that I've seen Matt Damon in a long while. Every time I see Matt Damon in a movie, I'm like, hey, that's Matt Damon. This is the first time that he actually went into a role, and I really lost track that that was Damon. And yeah, first you see him, you're like, hey, that's Matt Damon, but as the movie went on, he fell into this role as Kyle Shelby. But the true standout for me in this film was Christian Bale, which now, a lot, you know, I did a list a couple weeks back on Twitter talking about my favorite actors working today, and I did not mention Christian Bale. But after seeing Vice last year, and now seeing this, and just looking at his whole filmography, I'm an idiot for not putting him in there. He is one of the best actors working today, and I think Ford v Ferrari does prove that in this case, even more than to my stupid self that I never even mentioned him before. He is phenomenal. Whether whatever film you see him in, he is always a chameleon in those. And in this, if I didn't know that was Christian Bale, I would have never expected that to be him. The amount of weight he lost, the way that he positions himself, the way that his character plays off is completely different than a lot of other characters he's played before. Some of them might take references to, say, The Fighter a couple years back, 
but I would even say it's a little bit better than that. And I loved what Bale did with this, and I think this is definitely a big acting showcase for all these actors. Van Gogh just puts together this perfect American dream true story that we get for these two actors to play around in this sandbox. While their chemistry is fantastic, you also must look at the way that Mangold directs this film. That's gonna be one of the big highlights of this because he, again, races through this runtime very fast. It didn't feel like two hours and 30 minutes. It's very energetic. It's highly entertaining. And it's also might be one of the most entertaining films I've seen this year. Just the story of these two guys, and while it never gets too deep into all the scientific stuff and whatnot, I found myself so focused in and interjected into the story that it was hard for me to come out of this film feeling low on it. I walked out buzzed about it. And that's something that I actually really appreciate about this movie is how much it got me locked in and never let me go. Speaking of the moments that really get you locked in, I have no idea how he filmed the racing sequences, but they are a true achievement in their own right for the way that they did move along with these sequences. These are some of the best racing sequences that I've ever seen in a movie. Maybe you can suggest ones that are just as good or even better, but truly I was taken away by how real and how just damn good they were filmed. Talking about the way that this movie is filmed, it feels like an old classic Hollywood film. Something that they would have made 20 years ago and that they haven't made in a while in Hollywood. And the fact that we took the, that the studios took the risk to make this movie is something that makes me very pleasantly happy and I hope to see more films like this, which again comes down to the structure. The structure is a little bit shallow. And are the characters a little bit not in, in depth? Yeah, but I think there's enough there for you to care about them and dive into the story. There are a couple of emotional points that I never found myself getting so emotionally wrapped in that I'm in tears or whatnot, which again, some people might find issues with. And since it is based on a true story, some people might be looking for that, but that's not what I was looking for. I was looking for a very interesting story to dive into. And while I don't know much about it, I want to look into more of it now. Absolutely. Since I had never really heard about any of the people in this film and based on this true story, this is one of my favorite things when I dive into these stories is that I get to dive dive into this time period, see a new story, learn something new, and then go check it out afterwards and do some research myself. Before I give you guys my final thoughts on Ford v Ferrari, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button, comment down below, let me know what your guys' thoughts are on this film. Make sure to go also over to Sandwich on Films on how to see films early. And of course, a big thank you to you for clicking on this video and a big thank you to my Patreon supporters because without you, I wouldn't be able to do this. This is Mangold, Christian Bale, Matt Damon. They took the American dream for a ride and definitely take the audience for a ride in this highly entertaining, energetic true story that i was all in for yes while i would have actually would have liked to be a little bit more a more emotionally in depth into some of the characters and while it is shallow in some of those moments i can't take away from how much fun i had with this movie it's a giant crowd pleaser that's for sure and a lot of people are going to walk out saying that some people will want to cheer as the movie is going on and that's what i think it gets me into is while i'm not the biggest in the car racing I think that's what this movie does best is getting you sucked into it to the point where you want to be into it and that you are so locked in that you want to cheer along. That's something that Creed and Rocky do for me. I'm not a big boxing fan, but I get into it. And Mangold grabbed me in and locked me in for this two hour and 30 minute runtime that flew by. It really did. And when I say that, it feels like it was racing along at a strong pace that never let me go. We had a blast with this movie, and I hope you guys do too. So with all that said, I'm going to give Ford v. Ferrari an A-. You know your guys' thoughts are on Ford v. Ferrari. Did you guys like it? Did you hate it? Let's discuss it down below in the comments, guys. Thank you guys again so much for watching this. And of course, until next time, stay classy.